Jason, hey, congratulations on uh, voicing on this season's of uh, season five of uh, My Hero Academia. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Hey, what in your opinion? Why do you think this show is uh, the series is so successful? Um, I think that it it's in, it's inspiring to a lot of the folks who are fans in that you know basically. It's overarching message, in my opinion, is that anybody can be anything they want to be. And that is something that is universally appealing. So when when you when you got the part, were you familiar before you got the project? I was familiar. Yes, sir. So so in the case of are, were you, a, you know, one of the things that a lot of people always curious about voice actors are. Are they real big fans of, uh, you know, the shows that they actually voice? And I'm assuming this is probably one of your top shows you probably like. I mean, the, the uh, anything villainous in this show is super exciting to me. Uh, I've, I've had, you know, relatively few moments where I actually speak. So I got to admit, not selfishly, um, I'm always really excited when we get to those dark warehouses where the plotting is going on. That That's where it gets very intriguing to me. And I'm stoked that I'm a part of that. <laughs> well, for those people who don't know, could you tell us about uh, the character Dobby? Um, Dobby's pretty mysterious at this point. Um, his, I think his quirk has not officially been revealed, although it's got something to do with blue flames. He can, you know, uh, manifest and control blue flames uh, and shoot them a considerable distance. And, you know, via physics, the assumption is that blue flames are hotter than the normal flames um other than that he's he's one of the coolest characters and i don't mean like cool like fonzie i mean he's he's very very cool very calm very collected um i've only raised my voice i think once in my entire in the entire time i've been recording um he's uh, he's just unflappable and uh, super mysterious. Nobody knows exactly who he is, precisely what his quirk is, where he came from, and all of this is is uh, is pretty um, pretty interesting to say the least. <laughs> with the with the man playing a voicing a character with few words, is it easier to capture their personality for you? I would say it's actually more difficult when you've got less to say. Um, that said, his personality is fairly obvious right from the get-go. I mean, he's got this dead-eyed, thousand-yard stare right from the moment you first are introduced to him. Um, he is, I would say, probably the most emo of the villains and maybe of any character in the anime or the manga. Um, yeah, it, it is a little bit more difficult when you've got less to say. But, but I've got a great team, uh, Colleen, who directs, and, and I, and even the engineer. It's a collaborative process. So ultimately, you know, we get what's, what's right for the show. Hopefully, if we're lucky. <laughs> what, why do you enjoy vo voicing villains um, to you? What, what's, what's so great about that? And I just find them so much more intriguing. Um, I find that, that that the pool of personality, in my opinion, is, is all the deeper when you're dealing with a villain. Um, not to say that every hero is just surface, but I'd say that, you know, there's a lot more going on uh, when someone chooses the, the path of darkness. Um, typically, something has happened. And, uh, and I don't know what that something is yet, but I got to admit, I am just as intrigued as any fan who watches it. Um, I, I want to know who my dude is, where he came from. It's just, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I'm, I'm, I'm hyped and I cannot wait. I mean, I got to wait, but I can't wait. <laughs> um, how, how much work did you actually do before you finally got the voice of a Dobby? Actually, it didn't take us very long. Uh, Colleen has, she and I've worked together for, oh man, 17 years, something like that. It seems kind of crazy. I'm aging myself. So sorry about that. That's okay. Um, I thought I was on do not disturb. Let me make sure I am, man. We got limited time here. I am. All right. Okay. Are we back? Okay. Yes. I'm sorry, Gabe. Can you repeat that question? I said, how how long did it take? How much prep did you you take before uh, you finally got the voice? 
Right. Like I said, uh, Colleen and I have been working together for, you know, over 15 years. And she, she, I feel like, takes into account the body of work that she's familiar with when she casts an actor, especially one like me. Um, I've been, you know, her main guy in a number of shows in the past. And, and she's, as a producer, very familiar with my work. So she has an idea of, you know, what I'm capable of and the range that I have. So she had a pretty specific notion right when I walked in and, and it did not take us long to, to nail it down because it's something she's heard me do in a, in a way before. He's a variation on another couple of characters kind of mashed together, if that makes any sense. Yeah. So what should we expect for season five for those people who haven't watched it? Because I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the dub version there to hear your voice. <laughs> well, I appreciate that, man. Um, not that there's anything wrong with subs, um, but I just think it's going to be an awesome ride, honestly. I don't want to say too much, but, you know, let the villainy commence and ensue to the max. <laughs> That's a great answer. You know, that watching this, I, I, I want to cheer for the League of Villains. But uh, one more thing before I let you go, Jason. You know, the show, the show is that the world, 80% of the world has quirks. Would you love to have a quirk? And what quirk would it be? Oh, man, I'd love to have a quirk. Um, I've, got, I've got a double answer for this. And I have thought about this. Uh, if I were to have anyone, any quirk that I could imagine, I'd want to be able to control time and use time, you know, bend it to my will. Uh, but as far as a practical quirk, I actually like Mr. Compress's quirk because I got to travel for work a lot and being able to compress all your stuff in those bags, just put everything in your pockets. That seems like it'd be pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great answer. Well, Hey, Jason, Hey, thank you very much uh, for speaking to us about my hero academia. We, we can't wait until uh, the dub version comes out. This is terrific. You and me both gig. I appreciate it very much. You take care. Stay safe. <laughs>